I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Well, it looks like I received a blessing, you know, and I just get way more experience than I did before. I don't know what happened. I don't understand it. I can't change it. That's just how things are now. It's like, yeah, yeah, can't change it. Uh, do I need more growth? Is 685% really enough? I'm not sure. Let's, let's, let's go for... Cross. Yeah, let's go for it. <gasps> no! I took the wrong one. No! I guess it's okay. Hopefully. Whip. Can't Labrador! Yes! This is what I need. This is what I... I need movement speed. You know, sometimes, sometimes you just have to do things. Oh no. Oh wow, I'm healing really fast. That is amazing. Yeah, that is amazing. Because that definitely doesn't mean that I have no health. Okay, another axe, another axe. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Please don't kill me here. How oh, am I still losing this? I don't get it. I don't get it. Okay. You didn't need to fire anything, by the way. Ooh, but we have a good speed. Is this a bad joke? Okay, if we don't win with the... Oh my god, I can't move. Oh no... I mean... Maybe... Okay, what do we actually have? So we have negative 39% cooldown, 387 growth. That is okay. Curse is not as low. Area is decent. Wait, garlic might do this. Garlic is not doing... <gasps> we actually got a bone! We actually got a bone! Please don't kill me. More area! Oh my... I can't move. I don't know what to do. Please... Um, uh, no, I need something else. <gasps> Garlic! This is enough to one-shot them, right? I... I'm... I'm not sure what's really happening. I'll take it. L LOL. Okay, perfect. We have a shield now. This this looks so hilarious. <laughs> uh, Reroll? Um... What do I go for? I don't know. Nice, yeah. Uh, that's okay. That's okay. So I can't actually move. Like it looks like I'm moving, right? But I, I'm not. Wait, I'm moving. I'm moving. I'm moving pixel by pixel. Oh my god, I can actually move. Okay, duplicator. Amazing. Come on. Go to experience pile. You can do it. I believe in you. No, don't, don't get hit, don't get hit. Uh, another Ken Labrador, perfect! Hey, let's go for it! Who would have thought that the one that does well is the one that can't move? Okay, I gotta say, this is actually quite interesting. I didn't expect it, but it's actually, it's actually fun. Um... Yeah, I don't see that happening. Ah, uh, sorry, Skip. No, but it's it's actually it's actually fun in a weird way. Because it's almost as if you have the no movement challenge, but you can also target the knives. And of course everything is still randomized, right? Oh my god. Yeah, I'll go for that. Wait, did I just go from negative one to zero advice with that? What does it mean? <laughs> what? Do I go for Spellbinder? That might actually be interesting for Bone, just to stick around longer. They don't even have to move fast, right? Because the point is just keep the enemies away from me. Uh, another level of Tiragisu. And with that, that one is finished. I'm not sure if I need it, but to be honest, I would really like to win a game with this. That would be so amazing. And I still can't believe I actually got the bone here, on this particular run. 
Uh oh. We don't attack enough to push back the boss. Oh no, they actually broke my shield. No, 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 no. Okay, um, how do I do this? How do I do this? Well, I, I, I do have garlic. Yeah, I do have garlic. That should push him back when he gets close. Okay. I'll never get to this chest. Uh, you can forget about that. I need wings. I just need wings. Okay, you know what? You know what? I'm not gonna get wings. This is how I always do it, right? When I have runs with Missing No, we have one stat that determines what this Missing No is about. And in this case, it's a negative 100% movement speed. It's probably like 100.01 or so. So we still have zero po like 0 0.01 movement or whatever. But the point is, this is what makes this Missing No, Missing No. I know it's Mini No, of course. Duh. But yeah. Oh, the experience is flying in. Look at this. Uh, ooh, do I go for Song of Mana? That sounds like a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Look at this. Oh, I think I actually have like 99.99 something percent movement speed. Because when I press on the to the right side, right? When I press my D key... I'm actually moving to the right side. If it was negative, it would be reversed. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, 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 save me, save me, save me. Uh, I don't like that he's down there. I'll never ever get there. Like, I'm totally fine that I have to move. Like, I'm fine with that. But, you know, it's like, I, I would like to have the chest. It's way too far off. Yeah, there's no way I'll get there. It's it's not worth it. Oh no. Oh no. Stop coming closer. The problem is I actually get a lot of levels, right? So the enemies become stronger and stronger and stronger. But I don't really get the strength, right? Like, look at this. My weapons deal barely any damage. I think what I need to do is... I need to die. I need I need a passive weapon slot. I want Empty Tome, I want Brazer, I want a couple of things actually, so yeah, I need to die somehow. Oh, I need to curse Skull as well. Is that a good idea? Like, the thing is, if I get the curse Skull, I think this will be super easy to do. Okay, I still have one more, uh, one more revive at least. So I'll wait until that's gone, and then I'll, you know, play more defensively again. Okay, my revives are gone, now I have to be really careful to not die here. And it's hard that I constantly have to change how I'm shooting. Like, whether I'm shooting with reversed thingies, you know? Or with, like, how you normally would move. It just messes up my brain a bit, the banshee's a problem. Actually, the Banshee shouldn't be a problem as long as she doesn't break my Laurel, right? Yeah, that's really good. Yeah. That just happened. Please, 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 please. This one is insane. This one is insane. Look at its stats. Look at its stats once we level up. Look at, look at this. Negative 77%. 60 Magnet. Okay. Um, th this other stuff is also okay. It's not amazing, but it's okay. I think with the King Bible, once it goes off, it will just wipe out all of the enemies. Please? Um, yeah, knife is really good, we know that. Oh my god, look at this! Oh, th this is a machine gun! Uh, center water, yes. Okay, we need center water. I think center water is really good, actually. You can say about me what you want to say, but I'm not a quitter, okay? And if I quit, then this means it was near impossible to do this entire thing. Right now I'm working on a challenge where I invested over 13 hours. Just, you know, to get a good run to, to, to manage to do it. I don't want to spoil it yet, but it's, it's by far the hardest challenge that is in the game. In my opinion, it's close to impossible, 
And I will call it the impossible challenge or whatever, you know, the hardest challenge or whatever. But it's near impossible. It's insanely difficult. I've never seen something like this. Like, sure, there are always self-imposed rules that you can make, right? Like, you can just say, oh yeah, run in all the enemies constantly and make it to 30 minutes. Uh, yep, that, that, that's impossible, right? But in a given rule set that is reasonable, I think it's by far the, the, the hardest challenge that exists. But yeah, this was about the, the comment with the quitter. I'm not giving up on it yet. But also, it's it's really frustrating if you constantly try to do it and win, and it's just, it, it doesn't work out. It's actually hilarious that right now my biggest problem is that the enemies die too far away, so I don't get any experience. Oh, attract orb! That is so good. Wait, that was... I, I didn't... What? Do you know how much experience I have? 530%! How does this take so long to do? Like, I know this level takes like 2,000 experience or so. Or no, it's it's more like 2... Actually, I don't know how much it is. It's a ridiculous amount. I think if I get over there, I'm gonna swim in experience like crazy. Oh, don't do this to me. I want to have a specific thing. Ooh. Or that. Yeah, I'll go for Song of Mana. Yeah, sure. What? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go for Empty Tome and then just, you know, Holy Wand to evolve it. But I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, that's just straight up amazing. I'll take it. Oh, why do I have to do that to me? Now you appear. Why? Okay, I wonder how many level ups I'll get from this. It might be a lot, it might also just be a tiny bit, because it didn't have a lot of time to- Yeah, it didn't have a lot of time to accumulate. Need the chest! Need the chest! Gimme the chest! Come on! Go! Minino! I believe in you! Go! 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 There we go. Totally worth it. 100% worth it. You know what? I'll just let the gem down there accumulate up until like 10 minutes when I can evolve. Maybe at like 9 minutes I'll start moving. And then just try to max out as much as I can so I can evolve my stuff. Okay, I think it's time that I get going because it will take ages until I'm over there. It's not the 1% movement speed or less than 1%, but it's still a very long time. And I'm getting concerned because this boss took so long, but it, or it still takes so long to kill him. And, yeah, that might be a big problem for the boss later on. Uh, I don't know how to defeat the boss in 25 minutes right now, I'm gonna be honest. Oh, attract orb level ups. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme. Gimme, gimme all of it. Oh, yes. There it is. Okay. What do I want to go for? King Bible? Probably, yes. Song of Mana? For sure. That's horrible. I can't go for anything. I mean, I guess if Song of Mana doesn't evolve, you know, it's it's also okay. Um, I just hope that I don't get forced into something that is really bad. And we do have a chest close by, but I'll actually not use it, because I want to have as many levels available to be offered. You know, level ups of weapons, in case I just get bad stuff, like here. Imagine Brazer was leveled out to, the, to level 5. It wouldn't be offered, and this might have been, yeah, quite a problem. Ooh, that's a lot of level ups, actually. I mean, I like it, but I need the Cursed Skull. This is what I'm looking for, by the way, the Cursed Skull. I mean, I'd probably be better off to just go for, for example, Spinach, Empty Tome, something like this. Yes, that's true. But I want to have six evolved weapons. Not because I think it's better. Let's, as I said, let's be honest. Empty Tome, Spinach, way better. But, but I want it. I want it because it looks amazing. It's so weird because, like, for... It, on one side, I'm insanely strong, right? Like, nothing can touch me. But a single Banshee touching me, and they sometimes get through and hit me? That's, that's my death. I can't change that. I, I'm about to max out everything I have. So, yeah. Either, either the school shows up or it doesn't. I mean, oh, perfect. 
Okay, now I'll just max out all the weapons because I let the game choose whatever it wants to give me. Um, can I not level up this ghoul? That would be amazing. Can I please? Can you? Can I please stop? Uh, okay. There we go. What do we get out of this? Let's see. That's the most useless one out of all of them. Thank you. Because the issue is, just like previously, there will be so many projectiles on the map that it will not create the full spirals, right? <sighs> At least a new boss is spawning in a second. So I'm just gonna hide behind something so he doesn't get hit by... By what, actually? I don't have the eggs anymore, so it should be fine. Oh, but it's the bad. Yeah, okay, never mind. The, the, yeah. Yeah, we'll not get anything out of that. How tanky is this red bed? What? Look at this. How much health did... Oh, no. It gave us a chest. Oh, what's our luck? That is so unlikely. Wait, I'm so scared of the boss at 25 minutes now. That red, that bat was insanely tanky. I thought it would just die a couple seconds in. Like one or two seconds max. And... That, I don't care about the level up. And... Oh, that's... Okay, that's a really good one. Because now it's a circular shape. And it makes it near impossible that anything touches us. Except for anything that has knockback resistance, I guess. And another challenger has appeared. Can we do something against that? Yeah, I, 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 I think I can. I, th I think I can. Why does this take so long? I guess we have negative 63% might, so we just don't deal any damage. But honestly, seeing the damage numbers, like, look at this. Look at the knife damage. It's like 20, maybe, I think. Or, or so. Uh, it really looks like a single digit. Oh, the thousand edge better does a huge upgrade with that, because otherwise I don't know what to do. Well, Unholy Vesper, amazing. Really good. Oh my god, I was actually looking away because it took so long to kill this boss that I didn't even notice that the boss died eventually. Like, look at this, how long it takes to kill the Medusa, by the way. Just, just look at this. And it's getting worse and worse and worse and worse. Yeah, I'm, I'm slightly scared, yes. N not just slightly, actually. I'm really scared. D look at this! Can you understand that? I mean, I... Ugh! It's still going on, by the way. It's still going on. No, you, you're watching this with me. Th there's no escape out of that. Uh-huh. Still alive. All the knives hit her, by the way. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Okay, I, I'm giving up. I want this chest here. Just a tiny bit more and let's go. What do we get? Thousand edge. Nice. So I wonder, does this actually increase its damage? Mm, not really. Oh, we didn't get a chest out of that one. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, because of the negative luck, every single boss has a chance to not give us a chest. Just shooting at the bed over there at the top right. Uh, that's, uh, I'll actually allow it to get a bit close. Uh, it died. Okay, never mind. And yes, there's still a chest on the ground, but that was the initial chest from like five minutes or so. So we can't evolve anything with that. Oh, the last chest. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Thunder loop. Thunder loop. Thunder loop. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Please. Just, just a tiny bit more. I need to find a freeze, by the way. Because there, there's no way I'll kill the boss at 25 minutes without it. I mean, there is, but I'm really... Unsh oh. Right, we still have Labora. Oh. Huh. Interesting. Fun fact about X. Did you know, in real life, I actually do love garlic and onions... Whatever meal I have, I, 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 I wouldn't mind drowning in them. Like, I love the taste. I think they add so much. But it really depends on how you make them, right? 
But yeah, overall, I really... Oh no. This boss had less knockback resistance than the one at 25 minutes. And I, I, I couldn't stop him. He kept moving. Oh no. Yeah, I have a very bad feeling now. Come on, fun the loop, fun the loop, fun the loop! Thank you! Okay, now we are maxed out, there's just nothing I can do. I also can't hide because some people, like they... Okay, I, I have to turn off damage numbers. Yeah, uh, some people always um, let me know that, hey, I can just hide somewhere, you know, and the boss gets stuck on a bookshelf or so. That doesn't work. It, it doesn't work with him. He walks through anything. Whatever it is, he just walks through it. Whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah, we're still dealing really easily with all of the enemies, but that is expected, right? Pretty much in all in our build is focused on knockback. And yes, even Thunderloop has a decent knockback. It's, it's not that great, you know, but it's decent. But, yeah. I'm still really concerned for the boss. I just realized something. Because we entirely rely on knockback... Where, where's, my, where's my mouse? There it is. Because we entire, entirely rely on knockback, we will actually not kill anyone of the later stages and they will push each other into me. And I don't have garlic to deal with that. Ooh, how many revives do I have? Okay, I have one left. I don't think... Oh, no. Okay, I'll turn on damage numbers, but just for this fight, to kind of see what damage we do, and to get a feeling for it... Uh, yeah, I, I don't think it will work out, however. Where is he? Okay, there he is. I have to turn the moment I unfreeze. There we go. This is the best I can do. If he still moves an inch even, just randomly, sometimes, he will kill me. There's nothing I can do about that. I think I got him. I think I got him! Oh, I don't want to jinx it. I don't want to jinx it, because Labor actually has... Did he move? He's moving! No! Okay, I can maybe change slightly what I, where I'm looking at. No, 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 okay, let, let's not change anything, let's not change anything, let's just keep it like this. It's so hilarious to see all the tiny numbers there. He's dead! He's dead! Okay, but now is still the next challenge, you know, to deal with the rest. I can't hide in the bookshelf up there, because they walk through the walls, and then I can't deal with them, right? Uh-oh. Oh, these golds have a lot of knockback resistance. Uh, or can I actually go up there? No, I don't think so, because they'll just come from behind and push through. It's actually better to stay stay out in the open like this. Yeah, hmm. It's a tough decision, actually. Because the problem is, once they're in the wall, it will become really hard to push them back. Right? Hmm. I would usually stay to the left here, on the right of the piano, in the corner. And that is, like, on the top of the piano, on top of the book bookshelf. And that is an amazing spot to push back the enemies. But it doesn't work once there are so many enemies that they just push each other into the bookshelf. And that's what I want to avoid. Why do these modding videos always end in my computer nearly burning? <laughs> With this one, I was sure it will all be fine, because, hey, we only have negative values, like, really l low values, right? So, what's supposed to happen? Nothing can happen, right? Y yeah. It's actually hilarious at the top right to look at the kill number and just see how slowly it's going up. Like, it takes so long to get some kills. And, like, you have to consider what weapons we have right now. We pretty much have top weapons in the game damage-wise. Okay, Unholy Vesper is not that amazing damage-wise. Thousand Edge also kind of limited. You know, but Labora, Thunderloop, Death Spiral. Those are really amazing. Okay, 29 minutes. Come on, come on, come on. I just have to live long enough that my revival time will keep me alive. I actually don't think I will survive. Because once enough enemies spawn, they will push each other into me. Wait, can't I just shoot at... Yeah, I'll just shoot up. That way I will not kill these little blobbies. And that way less of the bigger enemies will spawn, maybe. Maybe? Is that how it works? Okay. 
Okay, so far the Unholy Vesper and the Labora are enough to push them back, well combined with the uh, Song of Mana, the Evolved version. But you, do you see how the screen is now entirely filled? This is where they start pushing in like crazy. Come on, come on, you can do it. I will attack to the sides, just that, you know, I help push back the the ones that get through a bit. Ah, maybe I should not move. Yeah, I moved and this guy now walk through. A single dude of them will just one-shot me because I have barely any HP. Woohoo! It's done! It's actually done, I can't believe it. Oh, that was great. Oh. Let's take a look at the damage once once we are done reviving. I only had plus one revive, so I don't know how long this will keep going. Oh, okay, that's it. That's it. Let's take a look at the damage. Man, these damage numbers are so tiny. That's just hilarious. Look at this. That was an entire run. But yeah, so in conclusion, what do I think about Maxino and Minino? Well, the way they are right now, I think they are just not suitable for the game. I think it's fun to play them once. And after that, you're like, yeah, yeah I, I kind of don't need more, right? But, 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 okay, if you're still here, a little, um, well, preview of the future. Jacob Ogden, okay, I'm really sorry that I butchered your name. He wrote, something that would be pretty interesting with Missing No is if it started with Maxino, but got a 1%, uh, for example, debuff each level or stats with Minino and got a small buff so you run uh, the scales as you play. Sounds really interesting. And then there was a second one that I love even more. Like, I will do both of them, but the second one is amazing. Like, even better. From Ademski, I'm sorry if I butchered it as well. Something that I think would be pretty interesting is if you made random no. Okay, huh? Random no? I mean, that's the point of missing no, right? Well, wait a second. The point of him is that all his stats get randomized every level, for example, if his area is 244%, first level, and you then level up. The area changes to random number, like 144% or so. Alternatively, alternatively, you could do this, but randomize every 10 levels or so. And I think this is what I'll do. I'll do it maybe every 5 levels? Maybe every 3 levels? Something like this? I think 5 levels is fine. The problem I have to consider is that if he's at negative 99% growth, then, you know, and I have to level up 10 levels, y you can forget about that. Th that will not happen. Um, so it has to be a relatively low number, but also know that it that constantly changes every other second, right? But yes, this is pretty much planned for the future. I hope you enjoyed the video a lot. It was a lot of fun, and, and, and never again. Bye-bye. <laughs>